Hey guys, Casey in the kitchen, and today I am going to make some homemade fruit leather. So I am gonna start the fruit mixture in my blender, get it nice and blended up, pureed. I'm even going to turn the blender to the uh, jam setting to cook it a little bit. So what I'm trying to do is actually get rid of as much of the moisture in the fruit as possible even before I put it into the trays. So I am going to add 16 ounces of fruit. Uh, I could do just strawberries, but I've decided I'm gonna do strawberries and blueberries today. So we're gonna add that down in there. And then a tablespoon of orange juice. You could use orange juice you have at home, or you could, um, I fresh squeezed the orange juice for this, and a tablespoon of honey. And I have that all measured out here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get this blended up by turning it to the jam setting on here, which I can make homemade jam in here. But this is gonna help kind of heat it up and almost start to cook it and cook off a little bit of that moisture so that we're a little bit ahead of the game when we go to put them in these trays, load the trays full of the fruit, and then put them into the air fryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that on the jam setting, and I will be back. Okay, so I have blended up all of the strawberries and blueberries, a little bit of honey, and a little bit of orange juice in the blender. And I actually did it on the jam setting, and now it uh, got up to temperature. Right when it says add, you would usually add the sugar. We're not doing that, of course. I just wanted it to get nice and hot and start to cook and release some of that uh, moisture so that we sped up the process. So now I have poured it into my trays. And it's like this in the beginning, and you just pour it in there until they're nice and full. And now we are ready to go ahead and put them into the air fryer and start dehydrating them. So I'm just going to slide this in here and it stays nice and firm. You don't have to worry about it wiggling around a lot. It's reinforced around all the edges. And we'll slide that one in. It actually comes with three trays. I'm just doing two this time. I could have doubled the recipe and filled up all the trays. But we're gonna close that door and then go to the dehydrate setting. And I'm actually gonna kick it up a little bit on the heat. It doesn't need to be super hot. Um, we're gonna leave it at four hours and then go ahead and turn it up to 170 and start it. So then it's just gonna slowly start to dehydrate those uh, fruit leathers and at two hours, it'll beep at me and I'll switch those trays. And it might be four hours, it might be closer to five or so, but that's how we make the fruit leather. Okay, so we are back. We have our fruit leather trays all done out of the air fryer and ready for us to take out. So here's an up close look at what that fruit leather is gonna look like. So if you kind of push on the back here, this will start to pull out and you have your fruit leather there. So I'm gonna show you another trick. I actually have cut strips of parchment paper. Now you can actually put this down before you put in the uh, fruit or sometimes I just stick it on afterwards. You kind of stick it in there. It's not real exact or anything like that. And then I have something to pull up and all I'm gonna do is roll this. And now we have easy, not sticking to itself or anything else, fruit leather strips. I'm gonna stick them in a little container here, put the lid on and probably even throw it in the fridge. So those are our fruit leather trays. Thanks guys.